So you bought Opsa Professional for your HubSpot portal and you're wondering, how do I start using it to write API code to be able to get data from other systems? Well, let me walk you through just a few simple steps that we use here at SmartBug Media and what I personally use to get going with API development quickly. So when you start your custom code in OpSub, there's a few things you need to decide up front. One, what language are you gonna write it in? Node.js or JavaScript or Python? Which one of those you're gonna use? Second, any keys, any API tokens, any secrets, any passwords, anything should be stored here, not in plain text or code. So come in here, add, as you see here, I have API token already selected here and I will use that in my code. And finally, the last thing I suggest is know what property you're trying to use. So let's say you wanted street address. You simply type in street and you type in for a contact, maybe you want street address. I also like to use Postman to help speed up the API development process. So as you see here, I'm making an API call to a geocoding service. I'm really interested in latitude and longitude. Maybe I need it for a website, maybe I need it for something else. But to do this in Postman, you just, you get the specs for the API. As you see here, I've taken the specs, I've written the call and it will return the API, but faster than that is we can now use this to help write the code. So if you click on the little code button over here, you can see I have it here where I can pull out the Python request. Uh, if you're using Node.js, you can use Node.js request, or you can even use the Axios library. This will give you the code you need to make the API call inside OpsHub. The final two tips in writing the code. Number one, always recommend using full screen mode if you're going to edit code here. You could use another program like VS Code, but you can do your editing straight in here. This will give you all the syntax errors. Uh, so go in full screen mode, it gives you more view to see your code. And finally, highly recommend testing your actions at the end. So if you have a contact workflow as I do here, you can come down here, select a contact, and test the action, and that'll tell you the output, whether you're successful or not.